Welcome to the class of microwave radar engineering. This is lecture number 12 and in the last lecture we have discussed about the uh, magic tea and in the today's lecture we will discuss about the ferrite devices and then in the ferrite devices we will first discuss about the ferrite. What is ferrite? What are the ferrite devices and from what it is made up of? From which material it is made up of? And, the, and today we will also discuss about the Faraday rotation and if time permits, then we will discuss about the what are the different devices of the ferrite uh, devices. Now, see ferrite devices. Ferrite devices are the non-metallic materials. Ferrite devices are the non-metallic materials with having a very high resistivity, clear, which is nearly 10 to 14 times greater than the metals and with high dielectric constant and relative permeability is of the order of 1000 and this is the main property of what ferrite devices and they have the another property that they have the magnetic property similar to the ferrous metal clear and from which, which material it is made up of they are what they are oxide based compounds having a general composition that is Me2, MeO dot Fe2O3. What is Me? Me is a general formula and this Me is what? Divalent or metal, metallic oxide. This Me can be MnO, manganese oxide, zinc oxide, cadmium and nickel oxide or a mixture of these. Dot Fe2O3 means iron oxide. That is it's a mixture of what? Metallic oxide and the ferric oxide where MeO2 represent any divalent metallic oxide clear now how they are obtained they are obtained by firing powdered oxides of materials at 1100 degree celsius or more pressing them into a different shapes and this processing gives them what the added characteristics of ceramic insulators so that they can be used for the at the microwave frequencies and ferrite devices have also have what higher magnet magnetic properties and because of all these properties ferrite can be used for the microwave devices such as in can be used in the circulators and these can also be used in the what isolators so in order to reduce what reflected power and in some cases the reflected power is also can also be used for modulation purposes or amplification and in some cases this can also be used as a in the switching circuits for the microwave devices so because of high resistivity they can be used up to 100 gigahertz and ferrite have a, also one very important property that is a non reciprocal property and what is non reciprocal property means let's say if i say uh, if i say two circularly polarized waves one is rotating clockwise and another one is another one is anti clockwise means if i say one is left hand circular polarization and another one is right hand circular polarization then the wave are made to propagate to if the wave is not made to propagate through a ferrite device then the material will differently react to two rotating field they will react to the different to the left hand circularly polarized wave and it also react different to the right hand circular polarized wave thereby presenting what different effective permeability to both waves and different velocity means if i say if i say this is a ferrite device this ferrite device one is left hand circularly polarized wave is provided 
another one is right hand circularly polarized wave is provided then what at will this ferrite device will exhibit right hand uh, further uh, right hand circularly polarized wave it will if if i say it will exi exhibit mu1 or epsilon1 permeability and dielectric constant and it will exhibit different from permeability to lhcp and dielectric with different velocity clear so this one is what non reciprocal property of the ferrite devices now due to the non reciprocal property of ferrite devices there will be a what faraday rotation in ferrites it means if i say if i consider that the infinite lossless medium if i consider this is a infinite lossless medium and the static field is applied along z direction if i say static magnetic field is applied along the z direction and a plane is tem wave that is linearly polarized along x axis at t equal to z is made to propagate through z if i applying a input to this clear and the wave is prop linearly polarized wave is applied along the x axis at t equal to z is made to propagate through a ferrite device then the polarization plane of polarization of this wave will rotate with distance and this phenomena is known as the faraday rotation clear now if linearly polarized wave it means that if linearly if i if i apply a linearly polarized wave to this ferrite device that means it will exhibit what rotation to the linearly polarized wave and this rotation is known as what faraday rotation and this rotation will vary with what distance means this distance if this distance is smaller then the rotation will also be smaller if the distance is greater then the rotation will be also be a greater and this linearly polarized wave which i am applying this can be re regarded as what combination of what vectors combination of or vector sum of two counter clockwise circularly polarized means one can be lhcp and another can be rsa means left hand circularly polarized wave and another one is rhcp right hand circularly polarized wave vectors and any linearly polarized wave is what vector sum of lhcp and your rhcp this ferrite material offers a different characteristics to these wave i have already told you this will correct obtain different characteristics so that's why with the result that phase change for one wave is larger than the other wave resulting in a rotation of linearly polarized because it will exhibit what different property to the left hand circularly polarized and different property to the right hand circularly because due to the different property it will exhibit what phase change and due to the phase change the overall linearly polarized wave will get rotated and this rotation is known as what faraday rotation so you will see here now see if i am applying input to this port number 1 that is linearly polarized and this linearly polarized what is the vector sum of what right hand circularly polarized wave and left hand circularly polarized wave clear this is right hand and this is left hand and the wave is propagate to pass through this ferrite material and and the in the presence of what magnetic field so due to this when the linearly polarized wave get rotated by this angle theta it means the left hand circularly polarized wave in this will be in this direction right hand circular polarized wave will be rotated this so when an electromagnetic wave pass through a ferrite the plane of polarization continues to rotate to an angle in one particular direction either clockwise or anti clockwise this property is known as what what faraday rotation this rotation and this plane of polarization change in the same direction whatever may be the direction of propagation of waves this is called faraday rotation it means what it will exhibit what rotation in the same direction whatever may be the direction of waves 
if the direction will be in this direction the rotation will also be in the same direction clear <coughs> so if the direction of propagation rota rotation is reversed the plane of polarization continues to rotate it in the same direction from z equal to l to z equal to 0 means if i applying input to this one from this side it will also move in the rotation will be in the this one direction clear in, in fact the angle of rotation will be l by 2 beta plus minus one beta minus that is beta equal to what phase constant for the right hand circularly polarized wave beta minus of phase constant for the left hand circularly polarized wave so therefore when a wave is transmitted from port number 1 to port number 2 in a fried device it undergoes a rotation in anti clockwise direction even if the same wave is allowed to propagate from port number 2 to port number 1 it will undergo the rotation in the same direction hence the direction of rotation of linearly polarized wave is independent of the direction of polarization of wave so this one is the very important property of fried devices and using this property we will make the we will isolate it and we will use the this farad device farad in isolator and your circulator and many other man, many other components of the microwave so first is your isolator and this one is what isolator the direction of this isolator shows that the input is provided if I am providing input to this one the output will be obtained in, in this direction but if I am providing the input from this direction output will not be obtained in, in this direction because in this in this we have used ferrite device and the resistive rod for this property clear so now see this one it is a two port device which provides a very small of amount of attenuation of transmission from port number one to port number two but provide maximum attenuation for transmission from port number two to port number one means if i say this is isolator if i say this is isolator if i am providing input from port number one to port number two it will provide a minimum attenuation from this to this direction but if i am saying if i am providing input from this direction and output will be not obtained in this direction because maximum attenuation will be there and this is was what property of what isolator it means the reflected wave if i am providing input to this one the reflected so this one is the normal transmission from input to output but if output is not matched with the if i say that is not impedance proper impedance matching at the output the reflected wave will not go to the input side and therefore will not disturb at the microwave source so that's why uh, so it means the reflected wave should not be allowed to reach the microwave generator which will cause the amplitude and frequency instability of the generator clear so the property of isolator is what it is non reciprocal device you will see how it is a non reciprocal device from this you can see that it is a non reciprocal device an isolator is completely absorbs the power to from fire propagation one direction and provides its lossless transmission opposite direction means i can also the isolator can also be used can also be said it is a uni line clear now construction Isolator can be made by inserting a ferrite rod along the axis of a rectangular waveguide. In the isolator, we have used what ferrite device. Okay, and the DC magnetic field is applied longitudinally to the ferrite rod, which rotates the polarization by forty-five degree. Clear. Now, <coughs> first we have provided the sorry resistive card. This is resistive card. This resistive card. is allowed to propagate the wave of particular polarization clear this is resistive card is up in the yz plane output resistive card is placed 45 degree to the 
inputs to the input card okay now see that if this is the input card and at the output you will see that there is a change in the what 45 degree change okay displaced by 45 degree the dc magnetic field is applied only to the ferrite rotate the polarization by 45 degree means at this rotation will be a what 45 degree uh, an input t10 made is incident to operate incident at input port since it is perpendicular to resistive card there will be no absorption of power and it is rotated by 45 degree again it is not absorbed by the this one now i will just explain this whole uh, working of isolator with this diagram you will see that this is the input side port number 1 and this is a resistive card this resistive card is having this direction it means it provides the input wave with this polarization means horizontal components will be passed clear and at the output there also resistive card it means that it will also provide what components it will allow to pass the components of wave wave components of horizontal direction clear and in the middle there is a ferrite device is used clear and there is a bend of 45 degree in this direction now see if i am applying the input te10 at port number 1 clear and now see when te10 is passed through a uh, this one resistive card it will this resistive card will allow to provide this is allowed to pass this wave to further now when there is a twist in of 45 degree it will allow to prop it will allow to what rotate the it will bend or rotate the input wave by 45 degree in what in what direction in anti clockwise direction when it is going to the in anti clockwise direction and this ferrite device further rotate this wave in clockwise direction means the now the further after this the wave will be same this one first the wave is rotated by 45 degree in the anti clockwise now ferrite device will rotate the wave in the clockwise direction that is first it is moving this direction now after this one it will move to this one so original position will be same so now this wave will allowed will be the polarization of this wave is same as compared to the this one so this resistive card will allow to propagate the wave from port number 1 to port number 2 but means this resistive card will allow to pass this wave now see <coughs> if i am providing input from this side what if i am providing input from this side it means this input same input will be there now see after passing through this resistive gate it will ferrite it will pass it will go to the what ferrite device and this ferrite device irrespective of direction of wave it will what it will rotate the wave in the clockwise direction by 45 degree it means now this wave will propagate to earlier it was in this direction now it will rotate to this word direction 45 degree in the clockwise direction clear in the clockwise direction of 45 degree now see when the wave this is a twist this is a bend it is this bend when the input is provided to this bend from this side it will move the wave in the anti clockwise direction now but from the if i say if i take a view from this side to this bend it will move the wave in the clockwise direction so on passing on getting on this wave this wave if i this wave is pass through this one 45 degree it will further rotate this wave in the clockwise direction so 45 plus 45 degree 
that means it will be equal to what 90 degree now the wave is what 90 degree to this e10 and this resistive card will not allow to pass this wave because this will only allow to pass the component of this wave clear now it is this now the components here reached at this resistive card is what 90 degree to the this one so it will this resistive card will not allow to propagate this wave this wave component to port number one okay so here the p will be equal to what zero so this is the property when input is provided to this one this side the output will be there where input is provided to this one the output will not be there so the scatter matrix of ideal S isolator is what since it is a two port device the so s matrix will be equal to s11 s12 s13 s22 s1 it is the ideal matrix so s11 is equal to it because these are the match termination perfectly matched that is clear now if i am providing input to the port number 1 output at port number 1 will be equal to what will be obtained but if i am providing input to the port number 2 output will be at obtained port number 1 will be equal to what zero it means the s will be equal to scatter matter of ideal oscillator will be equal to us 0 0 1 0 so the uh, slides i have which i have prepared from the book that book is what that book is microwave device in circuits by assembly thank you